Ford Puma 2019 present. When it was first launched at the end of 2019, we were so impressed with the new Ford Puma. We had no hesitation in making it our overall car of the year 2020. We said it excellent in all the areas that were important to buyers in its class, as well as offering a mix of fun and frugality not previously seen in a small SUV. Buyers like it too, and in its first year on sale, the Puma was the ninth best-selling car in the UK, which means there are now plenty of them to hunt down on the used car market. Under its pert bonnet, you'll find Ford's 1-liter EcoBoost petrol 3 cylinder engine, available with either 123 bhp or 153 bhp. Mild hybrid assistance is an option for the 123 bhp unit and standard on the more powerful version. The sporty ST model, meanwhile, is based on the same underpinnings as the Ford Fiesta ST and shares the car's 197 bhp 1.5 liter turbo 3 cylinder engine. All Pumas are paired with a 6 speed manual gearbox that drives the front wheel with a 7-speed automatic standard on the non-hybrid version on the EcoBoost 125. Four trims are on offer if you discount the ST, Titanium, ST Line, ST Line X, and ST Line X Vignail. All trim levels come with an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with DAB radio, built-in sat-nav, and a couple of USB ports. You also get a wireless charging pad, which makes it easier to charge certain smartphones. Titanium trim comes with 17 alloy wheels, automatic lights and wipers, climate control and cruise control. On top of that, you also get rear parking sensors and wireless phone charger. ST line trims bring sportier styling and swaps the conventional instrument dials behind the steering wheel for 12.3 inch digital display. ST line X trim gets climate control and also brings bigger 18 inch alloy for an even sportier look, along with tinted rear windows, part leather seats, and the B&O stereo. The range topping ST Line X Vignail gets full leather seats, heated in the front, a heated leather steering wheel, and keyless entry. Meanwhile, the vivacious ST version gets 19 alloy wheels, Ford Sync 3 infotainment system, wireless charging, a 12.3 inch digital driver's display, a heated windscreen, heated recover of sports seats, and a flat bottomed leather steering wheel. On the road, the Puma is great fun to drive. All the engine options are gutsy. The ST is a real hood, especially the ones with mild hybrid technology. And whether pottering around town or enjoying a longer blast, you'll be impressed. The Puma is responsive from low revs with pleasantly accessible oomph. The ride may be firmer than one or two of its rivals, but it's never harsh or uncomfortable. Besides, the payoff is minimal body lean in corners, which adds to the Puma's appeal on the twisties. Indeed, the steering is pin sharp and the handling a delight, especially on the ST line models equipped with the sport suspension, although all versions dart into bends more eagerly than any of the Puma's rivals. Inside, the Puma's attractive interior might not be top-notch plush, but it has some pleasantly squidgy surfaces on the dashboard and at the tops of the doors. Unless you're exceptionally tall, you'll fit in the front of the Puma easily enough, and the driving position is spot on. Only in the rear does it want for space, so a couple of six-footers will enjoy less knee room than they would in one or two of its small SUV rivals. You can fit six carry-on sized suitcases in the main boot compartment, and if you lift up its boot floor, and you'll find a large wall underneath, then can swallow a further two cases. The boot floor is also height adjustable, and when set to its highest position, and the rear seats are folded down, lips now step in the floor of the extended load bay and only a very small lip at the boot entrance. Top spec versions of the Puma have larger alloy wheels that can be susceptible to curb damage, so check the wheels carefully. Also look for any dents, dings and scratches to the bodywork, because paint and body repairs can be expensive. Make sure the clutch engages smoothly and that the car goes into gear easily. There have been three recall notices issued for the Puma so far. It is possible that the hybrid battery connections may not have been torqued to Ford specification. Contact the local Ford dealership or manufacturer. You will not need to pay for anything involving the recall. The MHEV battery connections need to be checked and torqued to the correct value. The driver's airbag retention springs may be outside of manufacturing specification and may not lock the module to the steering wheel. All engines offer reasonable verve, but we'd look out for a Puma equipped with the 1.0 EcoBoost MHEV 155 engine. 
This offers loads of punch and thanks in part to that mild hybrid technology, great economy. We look for an ST line trim in order to get the slightly more sporty suspension, but also go for the X version so as to get the maximum amount of kit possible. This includes climate control, part leather seats, and an upgraded B and O sound system. Price seemed roughly competitive for these trims. Our favorite Ford Puma 1.0 EcoBoost MHEV 155 ST Line X. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problem that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.